Second by second, you lose the opportunity to become the person you want to be. I am the greatest. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Sean Fit, and I'm back with another one. If you rock with me like I rock with you, then use your best punch and hit that subscribe button for me real quick. Cause it's no days off till it pay off. A day off is a day lost. Let's get it. What's the word? What's the word? Back at it. Second workout of the day. About to put in some work, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, life is so mental, man. Sometimes I gotta get back in the gym for a second workout because just to just to you know what I'm saying, refocus. Bro, cause we can kind of like fatigue out and it's like we're not the same, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get in here, put in a little work. Let's get it. All right, let's get it. It's showtime. So we're going to do some shadow boxing, some heavy back work, some cardio. You know what I'm saying? Get in a mindset for a battle. You know what I'm saying? Train to be unstoppable. Like I said, it's always something to work on. When I come in the gym and I train, I always picture myself like I'm going to go up against some of the greats. Devin Haney. You know, I just got done watching some of his uh, footage. Like, it made me want to get in the gym. I'm like, I'm not ready to get in the ring with Devin Haney. Watching Floyd, watching Tank, watching Tiafimo, watching uh, Lomachenko, watching all Canelo, watching all these guys. I don't feel like I'm in good enough shape to get in the ring with these guys yet. So that's why I'm in the gym training with the same mentality as if I'm finna get ready to fight these guys. So we're gonna start with some shadow boxing, some heavy bag work, some cardio. Let's get it. No days off till the payoff. When I start my shadow boxing. I start by establishing my my stance, my balance, making sure my feet are under me, controlled. Then I start establishing my jab. Um, everything comes faster the more you do it. But if you were like really new at boxing, that's what you want to do. Make sure your fundamentals is in check, and then start working the jab, and then start working off of the jab, working the foot movement. And then offense and defense, you want to work into your shadow boxing. And always visualizing. Um, somebody in front of you responding to what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So if some, you throw a jab, what did they do? Did they evade the jab? Did they slip the jab? Did they counter? Um, just think about it. Just keep working on your skills. And um, as you can see, I'm working my feet. It's always moving with my hands. You know what I'm saying? My feet move without my hands, but my hands never move without my feet. I always keep that in mind. The feet control everything. It goes up into the hips, out through the hands, the shoulders, you know what I'm saying? It allows everything to kind of, it's the foundation for everything. So with shadow boxing, this is my first warm up. This is my warm up. I did a light stretch before this and then I started getting into shadow boxing, turning up. In my mindset, I'm thinking somebody's trying to kill me. I'm thinking this person is the best fighter in the world and I got to step my game up. Their jab is better than mine. They're stronger than me. Their defense is on point. They're uh, everything, you know? I'm not just going in there light. I'm training for my life. I'm training to, to protect myself. So this is where I'm at, you know? And I usually do. So like with days like this, when I go in there trying to work on my endurance and my stuff like that, on a second workout is usually more cardio endurance based. So I'm really trying to burn myself out tonight. So I'll go do this heavy back and then I'll jump on a cardio machine, maybe like a treadmill or something. It's really exhaust my lungs and then I'll go shadow box again to see how everything feels the second go round because in a fight, everybody's fresh the first round, second round, third round. What about the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth? You know, are you still sharp? Is your mind still there? You know, because exhaustion makes a coward out of all of us. Remember that. Give it to you. But it takes hard work. Look out. 
I said they gon' have to kill me to stop me Cause I ain't feeling it, I'm militant Blessed with my wisdom, I see through ignorance Never play the villain, the victim I've been through plenty shit, I'm busy with my mental I go through issues, I deal with it There ain't nothing I will let stop me I feel like Rambo, when it get rocky I'm training boxing, I let my hands go Never let my plans get cancelled, I take a chance though. Same thing on the heavy bag, man I establish my footing, my balance And then I start working the jab You know what I'm saying? This is Different though, I guess it's different because depending on what I'm working on, because everything I work on a bag or in shadow box and I've individually slowed down and just worked on one pair. So I might have did just like the double jab or just the jab or the one, two, um, the, the one, three, you know what I'm saying? The two, three and stepping with the jab. So I worked on everything individually, but when I'm putting it all together, this is how I do it. I establish my foot, establish my balance, then I start working the back. And I'm trying to be more explosive, be more accurate, placing my shots, um, letting my hands go consistently, offense, defense at the same time, always bringing those hands back where they need to be at, understanding how far you are from your opponent, how close you are to your opponent. When you step in, what you can be hit with, what they're open to after you throw a shot, um, should you keep attacking, when should you hit an angle? You know, things like that. Always running your mind. Just because the bag doesn't have hands, imagine it has hands. Use visualization. I look at this as like experience. Like if you treat this like sparring, you're getting, you're not getting exact physicality of sparring, but you're getting some experience out of it. You know what I'm saying? You're getting your reps in. So let's get it. My heart though, cause there ain't many people I can call on, they hesitate, I never wait, cause boy, I got some large goals, you think too small though, when they think I'll get you when you speak it's useless, that's the reason I understand you then, another planet, man, I'm all about excellence, I lost track of all the things that I'm excelling in, a different level, I've been in love for you, sheltered in, I couldn't help you every time I tell you, you fell again, go with Marine, more Army Ranger, fatigue clothes, I live my dreams by any means, that's all I mean, I'm ready for it. Anytime I'm almost ready for perfection, a lifelong lesson, nice and steady, boy. They gon' have to kill me to stop me, cause I ain't feeling it. I'm militant, prep like the Navy. I'm filled with discipline. A businessman, I don't do business lessons, it's legitimate. I'm real with him. Why you keep faking, hating, it's sickening? I don't know. Unless I put my all in the set, I never grow. Unless I put my all in the set, I never know. Unless I put my all in it, unless I put my all in it, unless I put my all in it, let's get it. Yeah. Boss, man. I think that the end product, the end state, making a million, that's the most rewarding feeling that I think any drill instructor can say that they've experienced, someone that can say that they, they've actually felt what it Yo, I want y'all to keep in mind that I am like 90, 95% self-taught. You know, I use all the greats from YouTube, you know what I'm saying, as my coaches when I can't get in the gym with my coaches, you know what I'm saying? So, and the coaches expect you to be outside being a student anyway. So I have that natural character and ability in me without my coaches telling me to, to go perfect. They teaching you from their perspective. You know, there's so many other viewpoints and skill sets and combinations and angles that you can apply in boxing. So you don't want to just learn one style one way to be you know it's kind of like the same way bruce lee taught himself his uh methods of jeet kune do he went out and learned everything and combined it into one so that's what i do i teach myself i correct myself i record myself and i always look at the footage over and over and over and over again compared to all the greats that i study and make sure i am and advancing and improving every single day. My speed, my accuracy, my punch placement. Um, am I being as defensive, offensive? You know what I'm saying? The tempo, the pop, pop. You know, I'm timing it, everything. I, I constantly do that every day. And it's the same as a, that a coach would do. They would look at you, see something wrong and correct you. So you could do it for yourself as well. Just be disciplined, stick to it, stay consistent. No days off, let's get it. Yeah. When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking, just know that we all in. 
Never fall in the pressure, they got us forever Whenever we all in, it's whatever, whenever, man Just know that we all in, together forever, man Just know that we all in When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking Just know that we all in Never fall in the pressure, they got us forever Whenever we all in, it's whatever, whenever, man Just know that we all in Together forever, man Just know that When it come to my brothers, man I keep it 100 one day We gon' be counting nothing but hundreds, man Still filled with hunger, man I feel like my life will resemble the Hunger Games I go on a killing spree I'm ready whenever for whoever willingly I know my ability Plus my bond with my brothers It feel like gorillas be We went for a second time If y'all really wanna, we'll go for a trilogy And whoever next in line I got enough energy to go to infinity I know where I'm finna be I burn out the studio, kill out the industry Street. My grind that y'all couldn't see The pressure I put on them feel like a guillotine I gotta go get it, man I ride for my city, provide for my city, man They die in my city, man So tired of the killing, I finally win the man I'm all about my business, feel like they don't get it Till I go and get it, need a hundred million I ain't never quitting till I'm finished Not like saying quitting, I'm a it. Let's go When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking Just know that we all in Never fold under the pressure, they got the forever Whenever we all in It's whatever, whenever, man just know that we all in, together forever, man. Just know that we all in. When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking. Just know that we all in. Never fold under pressure, together forever. Whenever we all in, it's whatever, whenever, man. Just know that we all in, together forever, man. Just know that we all in. I always try to jump on a treadmill um, or get some really intense cardio in between like hitting a heavy bag or um, doing shadow boxing because in a fight, for some reason, it seems like you get tired right out the gate sometimes. It's like first round, it seemed like it taxed you out. So I always push myself in these ways and then go back to shadow boxing or hitting a heavy bag just to see how I perform mentally and physically. Let's get it. Yo, when we get in this second round of shadow boxing, it's so much different than the first time. Yo, I'm so much more relaxed. My muscles is warmed up. Oh, I visually know what my opponent is bringing to the table. I'm so much more calmer. I got so much more composure. You know, I'm still focusing on being sharp. I'm still focusing on letting my hands go, but it's more relaxed. It's like, let's get it. Your jab ain't good enough. Your defense ain't good enough. You don't move. Your footwork ain't good enough. You know, I got you figured out. Or I know I'm making more mistakes. So I made the adjustment. I made the correction. Now I'm bringing better, better uh, arsenal to the table. Come the second round of shadow boxing. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing all the tools out the bag. I'm elusive. I'm comfortable. You know, I'm stepping in. I'm using more feints. My jab is nice. I'm switching it up from the head to the body. You know, maybe I'll just use the jab and then surprise them with the two. Let's get it, man. This is the fun thing about training. You do not always need to be in somebody's boxing gym to do boxing. You can do boxing anywhere. Remember that. You can do boxing anywhere. The same thing I'm doing right here in the gym, I could do at home, I could do walking down the street, I could do in the office on a break, no matter what. Always work on your craft, always study, always improve, always critique yourself. Do not settle for where you are. I've been doing this day in and day out for so many years and if you look back, I've made so much progress because of my dedication, because of my consistency, because of me constantly pushing myself to the limit. Let's get it. No limits, no excuses. No days off till the payoff. You already know. Yo, and most times, like 95% of the times after my workouts, I do ab work, core work. You know what I'm saying? Strengthening that core is very important to me. I feel like you should never go down from a body shot. I feel like you should have strong core because it's, uh, it creates that stability and all the other exercises you do. So I always work on my core. I love having a, a good solid core. Um, ab work is very difficult. So once you get past that difficult stage of that intense burning, you can go a lot of reps and you can use a lot of different resistance. It's, it gets exciting. It's, it's, a, it's a rush. It's a high. Um, I love doing it. So I end with abs and then I do some stretching and self-care and stuff like that. Loosen up my shoulders and do a lot of stretching my legs out, my hips out, all the tight muscles in my body so I can be flexible uh, and I can move how I need to move without these tight, restrictive muscles. So let's get it, man. Thank y'all for watching. 
thank y'all for, for the support and the love. Let's keep growing. No days off. No limits, no excuses. Boss Lane. Yeah. When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking, just know that we all in. Never fold under the pressure, they got the forever, whenever we all in. It's whatever, whenever, man. Just know that we all in. Together forever, man. Just know that we all in. When it come to my brothers, no need for the talking, just know that we all in. Never fold under the pressure, they got the forever, whenever we all in. It's whatever, whenever, man. Just know that we all in. Together. Now let's go, let's go, let's go. All I'm doing is working, man. Teaching myself every day. That's all I do is critique myself, push myself harder and harder and harder. Like I said in the beginning, man, all I do is train like I'm finna fight one of the best. You feel me? I don't, I don't train like I'm about to go up against somebody with no experience, you know? I come in here and be like, see a female hit the bag with this much power, this much speed, he in a ring with this much power, this much speed, this much agility. Can I match that or surpass that? So that's what I'm striving for every single day. Just to hit these new levels, challenge myself, become the best version of myself. And then I know anybody that's under them levels, you know what I'm saying? Ain't training at that level mentally. It's a wrap. You get in front of me, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So I'm training for the, the science. I'm training for the... the uh, the talent, like the agility, the speed, the power, the uh, reflexes, you know what I'm saying? All around the board. I don't want to be touched by anybody. I want to be able to fight three, four people and still be giving them some competition or a, a whoop them. You know what I'm saying? No days off till the payoff. A day off is a day lost. Hopefully this motivates y'all to get up and get hit the gym and go harder. Make sure to hit the subscribe, the like button, leave some comments. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn up for the page. Let's turn up for the page. Let's get it. No limits, no excuses. I ain't done, though. No. For the video, I'm done, but I ain't done with the workout. I'm just getting warmed up. Nah. Let's go. to a million subscribers ain't no stopping i just gotta show my love and appreciation to everybody that's watching so if you subscribe gave me a thumbs up or even drop something in the comments when i hit a million i'm giving the million back to the people who have my back that's my word that's my promise let's go no days off till it pay off let's get it